hi guys it's abena if you are new here welcome to my channel if you're an old subscriber thank you for coming back so a couple of you have been asking me how to apply to medical school what grades you need what subjects you need so in this video i'm going to be talking about how to get into medical school in ghana if you don't know me again i'm abena and i'm in my fourth year of medical school in the university of ghana so bear in mind most of this information is for the university of ghana but I half applied to KNUSD as well when I was trying to get into medical school in Ghana. I never submitted my application, but I did fill the application form, if that makes sense. But I think before I think before I could submit my application, I got accepted into University of Ghana or I got shortlisted or something. So I just ended up never submitting the application. Anyway, so the first step to apply is to purchase an e-voucher. The e-voucher allows you to um, access the online application form, okay? So I checked the website and it says that the e-voucher is selling for 220 Ghana CDs. So you have to pay 220 CDs and then they give you an e-voucher to access the application form. So you can actually start the application process before you finish your WASI or IB or A-levels. I did the A-levels. So before my A-level results came out, I, I had already sent out my application to the University of Ghana. Same for the WASI results as well. So after you fill the application form, you just have to wait to be shortlisted. So I went on the school's website to look for the different requirements that is for a levels and for wasi i couldn't really find anything on ib i'm going to be reading out the applications to you so for the wasi entry requirements for your core courses you need credit passes in english core math integrated science and social studies and for your electives you need credit passes in chemistry and any two from physics biology or e-math so just make sure you do chemistry and then you can do either physics bio or e-math so a lot of you have been asking me which aggregate you need to um, qualify to come to medical school i think you just need to pass these courses i just mentioned okay so if you got a's in these courses you should be good but at the same time i think you should try to get a's in all your courses because at the end of the day it's still a competition i'm sure a lot of people will get a's in these courses so the one thing that will set you apart is if you get more a's than another person okay but i'm going to go through the process of getting into medical school and you'll see that it's not just about your grades that you get in wasi okay but to be safe get as many a's as you can i guess now for a levels you need three of the following subjects chemistry is a must and then any two from physics biology and math for me i did chemistry physics and biology but you could do like chemistry physics math chemistry biology math if your school allows those combinations that is and you have to pass these three subjects at least and then for your igs you need to have done biology math and english and passed physics as well so you need these four subjects from your igs and from your a levels you need any of these three subjects but chemistry is a requirement so they haven't stated the particular grades they are looking for, but I would say try not to get less than a C. And even if you get a C, maybe just one C, because as I said, it's a competition. Somebody can come with three A's. You don't want to have like one B and two C's and stuff. So yeah, just try to do as best as you can. So now after meeting the requirements, you'll be just listed for an exam so you'd come to Kolebu to take an entrance exam the entrance exam is on chemistry physics biology basically science and math and reason skills and i think general knowledge as well so yeah there was also general knowledge so they would ask you to be to be honest it's basic questions because i was kind of nervous about my exam because at the time we we're taking the exam i finished my igs like early june and i was taking the exam 
around august so i just felt like oh i haven't opened a book in a while obviously i tried to study a bit the night before but it wasn't really much but the exam is really chill it's not too hard it's multiple choice questions i think it's like i'll find out how many questions it is and um, the duration and put it on the screen i can't really remember now but yeah and there's a reason skills aspect and make sure to brush up on like things about ghana things about the university of ghana and like who's the dean of medical school who's the chancellor who's the vice chancellor um who's the minister of health those kinds of questions that's what they would test you on so after the exam we were told to wait behind and they were going to um put the people that had been shortlisted from the exam on the notice board and then those people would have to come for an interview the next day right and i think my time they told us they'll they'll put it on the notice board around 6 p.m and i came with my dad so i didn't want to wait till 6 p.m so we went home my friend said that he would actually come back to kolibu to come and check and send me a picture of what day my interview is and guys bear in mind when we finished writing the exam and they told us that oh they were going to put this on the notice board they were like oh they are going to go according to their names so a to maybe d will do tomorrow then the rest of us will do the day after tomorrow guys my surname is o o o <laughs> so like when we finished the exam i was thinking that mm, I'll not even be tomorrow anyway so let my friend come and take the pictures whatever i'm going home i'm going to rest because i actually had a headache after the exam like i was so tired guys tell me why i wake up at 3 a.m and my friend actually did send the list to me the night before but obviously i was asleep so i didn't see it i woke up at 3 a.m and my name is on the list for interview that day i was i was a bit lucky because i was for the afternoon group there's a morning group and there's an afternoon group the afternoon group starts at like 12. so my name was there as afternoon for that same day i was like eh, i don't know what i'm going to say as i wait for this interview god help me i was actually freaking out i found out my interview was that day at 3 a.m it was not a joke now i can't smile about it but at that time it was literally not funny it was not funny at all guys i forgot to add this but it's actually very important so for the interview they give you time slots so it's usually arranged maybe like from 12 to 5 i thought that meant i could come anytime between 12 to 5 but no it doesn't mean that it means come at 12 because when you come, they actually record the time you got there, okay? So me, I even got to Kolebu quite early, but I was sitting in the car with my dad, going over like possible questions and things. And I walked in at like maybe 3 p.m. I was actually the last person to be interviewed, I won't even lie. And when I entered um, the room to be interviewed, one person on the panel was like, you were late, why were you late? I thought they were going to um, suck me out. Like, I thought they would be like, Charlie, you're yeah, not ready to be a dog, so I get out of here. But glory, to, glory be to God, I still passed. So, one important tip is go on time. If they say it's at 12, get there at 11.30, okay? So, I had to... My dad helped me prepare for the interview, actually. So, for the interview, they basically... They're not going to ask you, like, oh, what is this? What is that? Like aspect it's not like science related questions they are going to try to get to know you so they'll ask you what you do like outside of school so when i went in they asked me um what other community service i've done outside the ones um i've done in school because as they are interviewing you they are holding your application the online application you filled and then on the online application i'd written that oh i'd done this and this and this um, in school as community service so they were asking me which other community service i've done outside the ones on my application okay then they would also ask you um questions about morality so they would be like if um your if somebody comes and then the person has hiv will you go and tell the person's wife or if your friend had 
the answers to an IE? Would you look at the answers and go and write it? Like basically, would you cheat and stuff like that? So that's what they would ask you. And I think they ask more general knowledge, like who's the minister of this? Who is the president of this? Those kind of questions as well. So, so yeah, also prepare your general knowledge questions as well so it's actually not just one person asking you as a panel so when you go just greet wait for them to ask you to sit down before you sit down like i was on this group with like people that were already in medical school and they were giving us tips and apparently a big thing is that you have to wait for them to ask you to sit down before you sit down don't just go in there's a seat there all right but say please can i sit and then they'll say yes and then you proceed to sit i just remember they were really stressing on that and also the dress code don't wear like jeans and a top make sure you wear you dress official and like official official like wear a skirt and a shirt or pants and a shirt even if you have a suit you can wear a suit okay <laughs> so yes that was basically it we did the interview and after some time i just got a text message that i have been accepted into the medical university of ghana medical school they sent the fees and everything and then yeah you come for orientation i think we had like a one week orientation wait the one week orientation included orientation for like everybody university of ghana but the, i think we had like a two day or three day orientation for medical school as well i hope i've answered most of your questions about how to get into medical school so i hope this video was very helpful if you have any more questions please leave them down below in the comment section and i would make sure to answer them also, if you have any video that you'd want me to film about being a medical student, leave them in the comment section as well. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!